system mode and let me tell you what system mode basically means system mode is uh, basically like the code that will get executed inside the apex class will not respect the user uh, who is trying to execute that code that that users security and sharing settings so even if the user is not able to see a particular record is or or does not have an access to a particular record but if you have declared a class or a controller or an extension without writing with sharing then that class or uh, i mean that class or that uh, uh, controller or that extension will basically execute in system mode and system mode basically means that the user who is trying to execute that code his or her security and sharing settings will not matter and if it will not matter then in that case uh, i mean he or she might have access to the data or might be able to see the data or edit the data which they do not have the access to any other way right so if let's say if you do not have the access to see the account records but i've created an account view page and in that account view page i have associated an apex controller in which uh, we are uh, like showing you that account you'll be able to see it unless until there is with sharing written in that apex class uh, because if you have not written down with sharing then in that case that class will run in system mode in system mode what happens the security and sharing settings of the user are not applicable or are not considered or considered or are not yeah i mean are of no sense so that's what it is so in order to run the code or in order to execute that class in the user mode in the uh, basically user mode is uh, a mode in which users security and sharing settings will matter right this is user mode and this is system mode right so in the user mode the uh, the users security and sharing settings will matter and the data he or she will be able to see or edit will only uh, like depend on to their security and sharing settings so always and always write down with sharing in the class uh, which you are creating as a controller or which you are creating as a controller as a as a controller extension is that clear i want so you have to make it your habit that whatever uh, i mean what whichever class you're going to declare or whichever uh, code you're going to write down the class will always have with sharing keyword or class will always be declared as with sharing is it not a security risk it is definitely a security risk that developers have to take care of while writing down the code because there come some situations in which you need to execute a code in the system mode irrespective of the user's security and sharing settings so in that case uh, what are you going to do is it clear everyone always and always uh, like declare your classes or your controllers or your extensions with uh, with sharing keyword that's what you need to do mm, yeah that's what it is perfect uh, with sharing so like make sure to uh, create every class with with sharing keyword that's what it is and i think that i'll complete with visual force uh, let me see if there is anything left i doubt that there is anything left but still let me have it and by the way uh, i mean which visual force page which user will be able to access that depends on which visual force pages access you have given to which profiles and that you can do by by going to the setup visual force pages and over here you can control the security so account sample page let's see who will be able to access this currently only system administrator has got the permission to see this visual force page if you want to give the access to another users as well or to another profiles as well just add those profiles from here to here and then save it that's what you need to do same goes with apex classes as well which classes who will be able to execute so here is the security thing will be profiles if you want another profile to execute this class or to basically yeah, have the access to this class then you can just move that profile from here to there that's what you can do okay 
that's yeah, that's pretty much it about visual course if and yeah i mean if you want to open a button open a page onto a click of a button then how are you going to do that like let's have a look account i mean we have already seen that though this we have already seen but if uh, if like let's say on to when i'm seeing this particular lead the, uh, i want to see i want to create a button over here which should open a particular page so what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit this layout there are buttons so there is no button coming up over here right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to lead and then i'm going to create buttons link and option and i'm going to create a new button and new link and it's a detail page link no it's a detail page button yeah it's a detail page button display in a new window no display in existing window without side with sidebar url no on uh, i want to open a visual force page which visual force page i haven't created a visual force page Let's uh, let's open this. Slash, slash. What is the name of the page? Student list page. Right? Student list page. That's what I want to open up. Save. So I've created a page. Now what do I, what do I need to do? I need to uh, go to that lead object, open that tree share, and I need to edit that layout and I need to add this button over here. Now I'm going to add it. Pull the button. I'm going to just drag it and drop it over here. Then I'm going to save it. So if I click on pull the button, it will redirect me to the another page. which is doing this this is a this list page is rendered as a pdf let me change the code and let me just make it as normal one go back click on to this all the button so it will open it up like this But you want to redirect it completely. Then in that case, you need to create a page which is associated to the lead page. That's what it is. But yeah, currently I just wanted to explain you how to create a button and link or action something like that. So you can do it like that. I hope that makes sense to everyone. So are we done with this? Like Visual Force?